Hello, it is Plurus. Thanks for joining us again and welcome back to another informative video on our YouTube channel. On today's episode, we are looking at the growing importance of the solar power for the African economy. We shall also look into the details and reason why solar power could be another very important aspect and how Africa can leapfrog itself and also become more competitive in the energy sector. So without any more delay, we should just go straight into it. With that in mind, looking at the way the African continent has transformed, Africa's growth is a topic of global importance. The second most populated continent in the world is also the fastest growing and it's set to be the home to modern a quarter of the world's population by 2050. Having that in mind, it's also easy to understand the enormous pressure on resources that Africa faces and why the continent needs a sustainable solution to have its basic needs covered. Among such basic needs, having reliable access to electricity, although this is significant progress has been made within the African countries, looking at Senegal, Kenya, and also the Ghana, it is also stands today. There is still plenty of work to be done when it comes to the continent's electrification. Nearly half of 1.2 billion people who live without electricity supply in the African continent, most of them in sub-Saharan African countries, being mostly affected. This particular aspect could change Africa's face in the next competitive years and moving ahead. Power supply is not just a matter of comfort or convenience. It is also essential to underpin Africa's journey so to point out towards growth and also competitiveness. Estimates suggest that in the near future, Africa will require over 1,600 THz to meet all its energy needs, which is more than double the current figures. Developing continents electricity grid could also boost our mobility, trade, and also production of goods and also services. Better service and also infrastructure can also bring other benefits to Africa or the general African continent itself and its countries, their residents, such as poverty alleviation and also health improvement in line with key social policies. But the question many will ask here is how does addressing energy poverty and inequality in Africa could be shaped using this particular method? Energy poverty is a widespread problem within the African continent since it is estimated that more than 600 million people do not have access to electricity. This has serious implications for African socio-economic development. The importance of solar power as a reliable afford of affordable source of energy is better understood when looking at the current situation and are the main obstacle to growth. For example, some reports will highlight that power outages in countries like Tanzania could cost local businesses up to about 17% of the yearly sales. Addressing this problem will be more stable source of power, will result in revenues and also increase uh, that could strengthen the economies of those African countries. Access to a reliable electricity grid could also have a significant impact on the provision of basic services. Improving education and also healthcare standards and addressing social inequalities. In addition to that, a wide penetration of solar power has vast potential to support commercial and also industrial activities that are currently being done manually in many parts of within the African continent, including water pumping, uh, milling and also cooling, and also storage of food and medical supplies that may be affected or be affected to the point of. Solar power generation could also empower African households and also have limited access to resources. An example of what's possible comes from solar ventures. If you look at Mkopa, when has been offering electricity devices, utilities and also solar panels as pay-as-you-go method basis, making them accessible to families who cannot afford monthly contracts or those with no credit head store. If you are new to this channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. But some will also find out how important is the future of such sustainable energy within the African continent. Well, when you look into this as an important aspect of sustainability in using the resources as hand that you do have at hand. However, but there you come across the paradox that Africa is rich in solar energy and in fact has the best solar resources the global world could ever imagine. Yet, the continent's solar installations barely generates up to 5 gigawatts. The resources are there, but there is an urgent need to developing them 
and also making sure that developing the systems that makes efficiency use of transmission and also distribution of the infrastructure. If adequately planned and implemented, a renewable could enhance Africa's energy up to 50% in total and demanding the next decades to make energy in Africa in a more sustainable manner. Solar panel can help fulfill the vision of growth and also social equalities for Africa. A well-developed solar grid will allow to accelerate Africa's current electricity rate, moving that to a little bit over 2%, which is insufficient to meet the demand and growth prospect looking at the way the continent is expanding. However, solar solutions will need to be developed considerable continental particularly on also the necessity to import models that could work elsewhere. They could use different strategies on different, con different continental uh, nations and to operate it in a way that could become more efficient in operating in those different environments that may need different aspects in making sure that they work properly. The thing is, this may also involve building further capacity at private sectors level and also attracting investment from global players who can undertake the enormous task at hand. Until now, solar projects in Africa mostly exist as a small scale, but for it to make a real difference, it needs to be developed across the board. Some steps are already being taken in different countries across the African continent. If you are new here, want to thank you for watching. We encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. The growing involvement of China in Africa and infrastructural projects since the early 2000s has been fundamental in these different areas. According to the International Energy Agency, Chinese firms and contractors were behind approximately 30% of Africa's capacity generation in Africa between 2010 up to 2015. Although there is still room for growth, Chinese investment has helped materialize projects like the solar power farm in Garissa, that's in Kenya, currently one of the largest in East Africa. Looking at a different aspect, like other renewable energy sources, solar power has potentials to allow Africans' firm and government to capitalize on the continent's strength and also give them the opportunity to grow sustainable aspect right from the start. Solar power is the way forward for the African future, human economic and capital development. Looking at the way other continents are investing usually in this particular area, Africa taking advantage of this will also strengthen its energy uh, needs. Without this, looking at the potentials that the continent will grow and also expand, if Africa does not handle this as a group, making sure that more considerable effort and also huge investments are placed into the solo section. Then, looking at the population growth that will be in 2050, the continent faces a huge challenge in the future. There is a growing cry on looking at the energy solutions within the African continent, which could be reviewed and also solved in different ways. There are different companies and international organizations that are looking to invest in those different areas. Of course, NGOs and other regional governments are investing a little bit more in this area, but the comparable to the population explosion that Africa is expected to see in 2050, more needs to be done. The energy issue within the African continent is so vital for businesses, operational aspect, making the continent become more competitive. It's so important that this particular aspect of the solar power could be a big solution that the African continent have been longing for. For now, I want to thank you for watching the Explorer. Hopefully, we were able to inform you looking at the importance of solar power within the African economy. Having this aspect will drive the continent ahead and also relax some pressure which is on the natural resources in those other areas, making sure that investors and also the normal African population should focus on their energy sources from the solar section. I want to thank you for watching. Hopefully, we've informed you. If you feel that the solar power could be a solution for the African continent's growth and expansion in its economy, we would like to hear from you. But if you feel that this is not going to be a problem or going to be a solution to the African energy crisis, we would also like to hear from you in the comment section. But again, thank you very much for watching our channel. We encourage you to watch our other videos on our YouTube channel. Again, we want to thank you for staying with us and have a good day. Bye bye.